I remember when I was a little kid and I used to do some baking with mum and um, my favourite when it came to icing was, you know, experimenting with different colours. So what I've got here in my hand is rainbow food colours and you can purchase this at any grocery store. Um, they're really fun to work with and especially if you're a kid, oh my god, it's, you know, the colours of a rainbow, you know, we've got yellow here, um, we've got some red, we've got some green and you've got some blue. And you know, with the colours that I've just shared with you, you know, you can experiment, you know, like blue and yellow make green and, and so forth. Now, the exercise is that we all know what the colour of water looks like. Now, if you wanted to be a bit more creative, you know, don't hold back. Food colouring goes a really, really long way. So I'm going to change that clear water into pink. So I'm just going to put one drop of food colouring in it and I'm gonna mix it with my teaspoon. And I've just changed the color of the water. It is that easy. How good is that? Oh my God. Now, if your cut flowers are pink, so if your water is pink, your cut flower is pink, look how good this looks. I'm just gonna bring my oriental lily into that. And whatever color you've got on top, which is pink, you need to match it with the bottom. And the bottom colour is pink as well. It's a bit like when a man looks at a woman, he starts with her head and he scans her all the way down to her feet, which is the colour of the water in the vase, and then he scans her back up again. So whatever you paint your nails with, always remember when it comes to design, you need to match with your toenails so you can have that balance and I've just achieved that just by changing the colour of the water. So I hope you've enjoyed that tip.